my friends, and welcome to Live Like a Berry, where we read stories together. Today's book is called How to Party Like a Snail by Nassim Harab and Kelly Collier. Are you ready? Let's go! Snail is a party animal. Well, kind of. Yippee! He especially loves the quiet things about parties, like confetti! Using his indoor voice to make new friends. Psst, hello. Do you hear something? Whispering meaningful wishes to cakes. I wished for more cake. Now that's my kind of wish, my friends. And savoring those few silent seconds before everyone yells, Surprise! Three, two, hmm. But. Parties aren't often quiet, and sometimes things can get too loud for Snail. That's when he shrinks into his shell. Shwoop! Aw, poor Snail. From inside his shell, Snail still finds a way to join the fun. Good for him! This is my jam! Bop, dee dee, bop, bop. Too bad no one can see his sweet dance moves. Oh, man. Sometimes, Snail's friends try to coax him out. Come on, everyone's dancing. I'm partying in my heart. Sure doesn't look that way. It's just that things get a bit too loud for me sometimes. Good for him telling his friends how he feels. But loud is fun! It sure is, especially when it's less loud. Oh, poor Snail. Okay, well, uh, enjoy your uh, quiet. They say silence is golden, right? I don't get it. And that makes him wonder if he's the only one who thinks that quiet is just as fun as loud. I don't think so, friends. Sometimes quiet is lovely. Lately, Snail hasn't been invited to many parties. Oh, no. Instead, he spends a lot of time waiting. And waiting. I hear that mail can be awfully slow sometimes. <gasps> Poor snail. And waiting. Until one day, the small carrier finally arrives with a promising looking envelope. For a stump. Meh. <laughs> Aw, shame. Here, stump. This came to me by mistake. Not another one! Snail is starting to think that he's more of a party pooper than a party animal. It's not a party without Stump. <laughs> Poor Snail. The only type of party he feels like going to now is his own pity party. And that gives Snail an idea. What if he threw his own party? It'll be the funnest, quietest, party I've ever been to. I love that idea. First, he invites himself. Oh, a party for me? I love me. Then he makes a pot of warm milk. Hmm, a hug and a mug. And lip syncs to all of his favorite lullabies. Snail is having so much fun that he starts to get wild. Let's make this party even quieter. Oh man, how is it going to be even more quiet? To hype up the hush, Snail fluffs some pillows and rolls himself up into a blanket burrito. A soft shell. He's almost having the time of his life, but he can't help feeling like something is missing. Oh, I wonder what? I've got my shell? My milk, my blankets, my lullabies, what could be missing? Is it too quiet? Could I miss the loud? I wonder if that's it. Do I miss the loud? <gasps> Gasp! Am I loud? Oh my goodness, he even gave Stump a fright. Oh, poor Stump. And that's when Stump gently chimes in with a suggestion. Maybe your party is just missing a friend? I 
I think that's it, my friends. Stump, you're here. Shh, welcome to my party. Well, I'm always here since I'm rooted to the ground, but your shindig is full with all my favorite things. Nice. Snail and Stump realize that they both love parties, just not the rowdy ones. Shall we shh together? Sure. <laughs> Gasp. Did they get a little too loud laughing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the celebration of the shush. Snail and Stump play an exhilarating game of hide and seek. Ready or not, here we hide. Shoop. They put on their favorite jammies. I feel like a marshmallow. Wrapped in a cloud. And then turn the lullabies way down. We can barely hear them. Oh man, this sounds like they're having a fantastic party, huh? We're total party animals! Snail and Stump party in their hearts all night long. Oh my friends, there's so many different ways to party and there's different types of party. And I love how Snail and Stump figured out how to enjoy all their favorite things about partying. Oh my friends. Until next Thursday, I want you to remember to play like a berry, read like a berry, and live like a berry. Until next time, goodbye.